Marshal Dadajura. Chapter 226, Mysterious Expert, Strange. What kind of person would build a temple hall in this place? This is a forbidden land, so would there really be a person who lives here for long periods of times? Or perhaps it is just a temporary place for resting? But didn't the elders from various schools not permit anyone from going too deep into the Valley of Hundred Bends? This is already quite deep, so normally, there shouldn't be anyone here. As he looked at the fine-built temple hall on the far mountain peak, Chu Feng endlessly guessed. Finally, to satisfy his curiosity in his heart, he concealed himself in the clouds and extended his spirit power to the extreme as he carefully went forward and he wanted to investigate it to the end. This is. But before even going near the mountain peak, Chu Feng's pupils largened and shock emerged onto his face of curiosity in an instant. What a powerful hidden spirit formation. The power of this spirit formation is far above my gray-colored spirit formation. Chu Feng discovered a hidden spirit formation that was outside of the mountain peak. It was a spirit formation mechanism. After touching it, no harm would be done, but it would attract the attention of the person who laid it. That meant something. The master in this place was most likely a world spiritist, and the most important part was that from the feeling from the spirit formation, the owner of that spirit formation was far above him in terms of power. Which meant the world spiritist who laid that spirit formation was very possibly not a simple gray cloak world spiritist, but a it's a blue-colored spirit formation. The master here is undoubtedly a blue-cloak world spiritist. Eggy spoke the answer for Chu Feng. Blue-cloak world spiritist. Why is such a character here? Chu Feng was endlessly shocked. In the Azure province, the strongest world spiritists were gray-cloak world spiritists, and there were only two. So, why did a blue-cloak world spiritist appear in that place? That was too shocking. How strong were Blue Cloak World Spiritists? They were huge characters who were even rare within the World Spirit Guild. Chu Feng, quickly leave. You cannot offend the master here. Quick. Retreat. Eggy's voice became more tense. Chu Feng did not hesitate after hearing that. He turned around and quickly left. After listening to Eggy's explanation, only then did Chu Feng know why Eggy was so nervous. It was because the strength of a blue cloak world spiritist completely exceeded his expectations. A blue cloak world spiritist. Putting their spirit power aside first, the various spirit formation methods that they grasped completely surpassed gray cloak world spiritists. In terms of martial cultivation, there were strict requirements as well. According to what Eggy said, the power of blue-colored spirit formation required one to be at least in the heaven realm in order to gain it. Which also meant that not only did a blue-cloak world spiritist live in that temple hall, he was also simultaneously a heaven realm expert. The heaven realm. That was the highest realm in the continent of the nine provinces. Why did a character such as him appear in the Azure province's Valley of Hundred Bends? Chu Feng could not understand but he did know something. There was an expert in the Valley of Hundred Bends, and that expert was not someone Chu Feng could offend because he truly could not bear the consequences. Even if he was invincible in front of people under the Heaven Realm, as he was able to escape with the superb martial skill, the Imperial Sky Technique, in front of Heaven Realm experts, he did not even have the chance to escape. After distancing himself from the mountain peak, Chu Feng did not use the Imperial Sky Technique anymore. After all, there were limited clouds in the sky and he could not always rely on the clouds to conceal himself. If he was discovered by someone, a huge uproar would be unavoidable. Besides, there were countless spiritual medicines and origin medicines, and there were even profound medicines. Although Chu Feng could not finish Gong Lu Yun off, since he came, he couldn't leave empty-handedly right? There was a deadline for the heroic hunt. Eighteen days. The eighteen days did not start when they entered deeper into the Valley of Hundred Bends. It started on the day that the Valley of Hundred Bends was opened, so to be more precise, they only had fifteen days. Chu Feng was going to openly slaughter in the fifteen days. 
He also wanted to experience how ample the resources in the Valley of Hundred Bends were. Also, normally, there were many monstrous beasts within the Valley of Hundred Bends. So, Chu Feng did not mind exchanging some blows with the legendary monstrous beasts. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. In a deep valley within the Valley of Hundred Bends, there was an area that was covered by trees. However, the branches and leaves were quite lush and there were even vines everywhere. They covered the sky and covered the sun, and it was extremely hard to walk. However, a person was not affected at all in such an area. Like an agile monkey, he used the tree branches and tree vines to jump here and there in the air. His speed was extremely quick and sometimes, one could only see his silhouette but not his appearance. Naturally, that person was Chu Fong. Ten days had passed from the beginning of the heroic hunt, and with the methods of a gray cloak world spiritist, Chu Fong was like a fish in water when he was in the Valley of Hundred Bends and his harvests were great. In these days, if he was thirsty, he would drink spring water. If he was hungry, he would roast some meat and eat it. He did not care about spiritual medicines, and only origin medicines would stop him. Within ten days, he even stamped over and killed dozens of profound medicines which were like treasures. Although they were only low-quality profound medicine and medium-quality profound medicine, normal people could still not pick them. After all, those profound medicines already had spiritual nature and the difficulty in catching them was extremely high. Only Chu Feng, a Grey Cloak World Spiritist, could catch them so easily. As long as he found them, he would get them. There would be no fish that could escape his net. One high-quality profound medicine, one monstrous beast at the ninth level of the origin realm, and one human at the first level of the profound realm. It seems like someone attacked first. As Chu Feng dashed through the forest, he muttered in a low voice. He was currently chasing after a high-quality profound medicine. However, with his sharp spirit power, Chu Feng could feel that there wasn't only a high-quality profound medicine. There was also a monstrous beast as well as a human. Ta. After going past several trees, finally, Chu Feng landed on a thick and big dry tree. Chu Feng could see everything as he looked down from above. Dozens of meters away from him, a frightening big battle was happening. Countless thick trees were cut into half and blood covered the entire area. Nothing seemed the same before the battle and it seemed like an area of a disaster. The young male was powerful person at the first level of the profound realm. As for the huge bear monstrous beast and the tree-vined monster, they were only at the ninth level of the origin realm. However, as they worked together, the young male got forced more and more back and he was going to fall at any moment. That's the original body of a high-quality profound medicine. Quite strong. It's cooperating with the monstrous beast to attack humans together, and the combined battle power of the two is comparable to the first level of the profound realm. No wonder that pockmarked male is unable to beat them. Fragments were like a rainstorm as they flew all around Chu Feng. However, they were unable to harm him in the slightest. He was observing everything and waiting for the pockmarked male to request for assistance because he had to take that high-quality profound medicine. Since that high-quality profound medicine was first discovered by the pockmarked male and unless the male took the initiative to give it up, if Chu Feng helped him take care of the monstrous beast and the profound medicine, the pockmarked male might not be willing to give the profound medicine over to Chu Feng and obviously, some disputes would happen. After experiencing all sorts of events, Chu Feng started to restrain his temper. He did not want to easily create enemies. What he needed were Friends. 63048-5-BFB-98C962-D6C69. Chapter 226, Mysterious Expert. Strange. What kind of person would build a temple hall in this place? This is a forbidden land, so would there really be a person who lives here for long periods of times? Or perhaps it is just a temporary place for resting? But didn't the elders from various schools not permit anyone from going too deep into the Valley of Hundred Bends? This is already quite deep, so normally, there shouldn't be anyone here. As he looked at the fine-built temple hall on the far mountain peak, 
Chu Feng endlessly guessed. Finally, to satisfy his curiosity in his heart, he concealed himself in the clouds and extended his spirit power to the extreme as he carefully went forward and he wanted to investigate it to the end. This is. But before even going near the mountain peak, Chu Feng's pupils largened and shock emerged onto his face of curiosity in an instant. What a powerful hidden spirit formation. The power of this spirit formation is far above my gray-colored spirit formation. Chu Feng discovered a hidden spirit formation that was outside of the mountain peak. It was a spirit formation mechanism. After touching it, no harm would be done, but it would attract the attention of the person who laid it. That meant something. The master in this place was most likely a world spiritist, and the most important part was that from the feeling from the spirit formation, the owner of that spirit formation was far above him in terms of power. Which meant the world spiritist who laid that spirit formation was very possibly not a simple gray cloak world spiritist, but a. It's a blue colored spirit formation. The master here is undoubtedly a blue cloak world spiritist. Eggy spoke the answer for Chu Feng. Blue Cloak World Spiritist. Why is such a character here? Chu Feng was endlessly shocked. In the Azure province, the strongest world spiritists were Grey Cloak World Spiritists, and there were only two. So, why did a Blue Cloak World Spiritist appear in that place? That was too shocking. How strong were Blue Cloak World Spiritists? They were huge characters who were even rare within the World Spirit Guild. Chu Feng, quickly leave. You cannot offend the master here. Quick. Retreat. Eggy's voice became more tense. Chu Feng did not hesitate after hearing that. He turned around and quickly left. After listening to Eggy's explanation, only then did Chu Feng know why Eggy was so nervous. It was because the strength of a blue cloak world spiritist completely exceeded his expectations. A blue cloak world spiritist. Putting their spirit power aside first, the various spirit formation methods that they grasped completely surpassed gray cloak world spiritists. In terms of martial cultivation, there were strict requirements as well. According to what Eggy said, the power of blue colored spirit formation required one to be at least in the heaven realm in order to gain it. Which also meant that not only did a blue cloak world spiritist live in that temple hall, he was also simultaneously a Heaven Realm expert. The Heaven Realm. That was the highest realm in the continent of the Nine Provinces. Why did a character such as him appear in the Azure Province's Valley of Hundred Bends? Chu Feng could not understand. But he did know something. There was an expert in the Valley of Hundred Bends, and that expert was not someone Chu Feng could offend because he truly could not bear the consequences. Even if he was invincible in front of people under the heaven realm, as he was able to escape with the superb martial skill, the imperial sky technique, in front of heaven realm experts, he did not even have the chance to escape. After distancing himself from the mountain peak, Chu Feng did not use the imperial sky technique anymore. After all, there were limited clouds in the sky and he could not always rely on the clouds to conceal himself. If he was discovered by someone, a huge uproar would be unavoidable. Besides, there were countless spiritual medicines and origin medicines, and there were even profound medicines. Although Chu Feng could not finish Gong Lu Yun off, since he came, he couldn't leave empty-handedly right? There was a deadline for the heroic hunt. 18 Days The 18 days did not start when they entered deeper into the Valley of Hundred Bends. It started on the day that the Valley of Hundred Bends was opened, so to be more precise, they only had fifteen days. Chu Feng was going to openly slaughter in the fifteen days. He also wanted to experience how ample the resources in the Valley of Hundred Bends were. Also, normally, there were many monstrous beasts within the Valley of Hundred Bends. So, Chu Feng did not mind exchanging some blows with the legendary monstrous beasts. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. In a deep valley within the Valley of Hundred Bends, there was an area that was covered by trees. However, the branches and leaves were quite lush and there were even vines everywhere. They covered the sky and covered the sun, and it was extremely hard to walk. 
however, a person was not affected at all in such an area. Like an agile monkey, he used the tree branches and tree vines to jump here and there in the air. His speed was extremely quick and sometimes, one could only see his silhouette but not his appearance. Naturally, that person was Chu Fong. Ten days had passed from the beginning of the heroic hunt, and with the methods of a gray cloak world spiritist, Chu Fong was like a fish in water when he was in the Valley of Hundred Bends and his harvests were great. In these days, if he was thirsty, he would drink spring water. If he was hungry, he would roast some meat and eat it. He did not care about spiritual medicines, and only origin medicines would stop him. Within ten days, he even stamped over and killed dozens of profound medicines which were like treasures. Although they were only low-quality profound medicine and medium-quality profound medicine, normal people could still not pick them. After all, those profound medicines already had spiritual nature and the difficulty in catching them was extremely high. Only Chu Feng, a great cloak world spiritist, could catch them so easily. As long as he found them, he would get them. There would be no fish that could escape his net. One high-quality profound medicine, one monstrous beast at the ninth level of the origin realm, and one human at the first level of the profound realm. It seems like someone attacked first. As Chu Feng dashed through the forest, he muttered in a low voice. He was currently chasing after a high-quality profound medicine. However, with his sharp spirit power, Chu Feng could feel that there wasn't only a high-quality profound medicine. There was also a monstrous beast as well as a human. Ta. After going past several trees, finally, Chu Feng landed on a thick and big dry tree. Chu Feng could see everything as he looked down from above. Dozens of meters away from him, a frightening big battle was happening. Countless thick trees were cut into half and blood covered the entire area. Nothing seemed the same before the battle and it seemed like an area of a disaster. The young male was powerful person at the first level of the profound realm. As for the huge bear monstrous beast and the tree-vined monster, they were only at the ninth level of the origin realm. However, as they worked together, the young male got forced more and more back and he was going to fall at any moment. That's the original body of a high-quality profound medicine. Quite strong. It's cooperating with the monstrous beast to attack humans together, and the combined battle power of the two is comparable to the first level of the profound realm. No wonder that pockmarked male is unable to beat them. Fragments were like a rainstorm as they flew all around Chu Feng. However, they were unable to harm him in the slightest. He was observing everything and waiting for the pockmarked male to request for assistance because he had to take that high-quality profound medicine. Since that high-quality profound medicine was first discovered by the pockmarked male and unless the male took the initiative to give it up, if Chu Feng helped him take care of the monstrous beast and the profound medicine, the pockmarked male might not be willing to give the profound medicine over to Chu Feng and obviously, some disputes would happen. After experiencing all sorts of events, Chu Feng started to restrain his temper. He did not want to easily create enemies. What he needed were Friends. Marshal Gadajura. Chapter 227 Dangerous Land Senior, please help me out. Indeed, after the pockmarked male discovered Chu Feng, he quickly asked for assistance. In order to increase his efficiency, Chu Feng kept on borrowing Eggie's power after entering the Valley of Hundred Bends. However, to avoid any unnecessary troubles, he still disguised himself. He wore a cloth-long robe and wore a conical hat that was made out of grass to conceal his own appearance. A disguise like that was not rare in the Valley of Hundred Bends, but because the pockmarked male could not see Chu Feng's appearance nor could he determine Chu Feng's age, yet he wanted Chu Feng to help him, he called Chu Feng a senior. What about the high-quality profound medicine after I help you? Chu Feng changed his voice into a young adult's and directly spoke his goal. As long as you help me solve the danger in front of right now, the high-quality profound medicine and the monstrous beast are yours. The pockmarked male held. Great. Only after that did Chu Feng leap into the air, and like a sharp sword, he stabbed himself into the battle circle of the three. 
ignorant humans, all of you will die. At the same time that Chu Feng landed on the ground, the huge bear monstrous beast pounced towards Chu Feng. Indeed, the monstrous beast had spiritual nature and he could speak the human language. However, its voice was still full of a wild beast's aura. It was also as if he had boundless strength. When his claw came down, it brought the power of 300,000 caddies along with it. Humph. However, Chu Feng only coldly snorted at the monstrous beast's sudden attack. Not only did he not dodge or avoid it, he even formed a fist with one hand and threw it towards the huge claw of the monstrous beast. This, that scene completely terrified the pockmarked male. After all, Chu Feng's aura showed that he was only at the first level of the profound realm, being the same as him. In terms of body figure, he was even skinnier than himself. So, Chu Feng's current actions was like a mantis trying to block a chariot, and he was only searching for his own road of death. However, in the next instant, he was stupefied. Boom. When Chu Feng's fist and the huge paw of the monstrous beast collided, instantly, a huge boom sounded out. Although Chu Feng's fist wasn't big, the energy it contained was huge. A ripple of energy exploded out and the monstrous beast instantly wailed out, then quickly retreated. Its rough skin and thick flesh, which were like iron, were split open everywhere with blood flowing out and it revealed the eerie white bones. Heavens, this, is this still the fist of a human? At that very instant, the pockmarked male was already dumbstruck and he stared blankly at Chu Feng's fist with disbelief all over his face. He did exchange some blows with the huge bear monstrous beast before so he deeply knew the strength of the huge bear monstrous beast's physical body. However, with his own body, Chu Feng destroyed the paw of the monstrous beast so he found it quite hard to accept that. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. As the pockmarked male was distracted, the high-quality profound medicine already leaped into the air. The vines all over it became sharp blade that filled the sky. With lightning-fast speed, they shot towards the pockmarked male. Crap. When the pockmarked male reacted to that, it was too late. The vines that filled the sky would stab into his body in the next instant. He could not avoid even if he wanted to, and he couldn't escape from it even he wanted to. He lost his chance. Swoosh. But just as the pockmarked male felt that he was going to undoubtedly die, like a ghost, Chu Feng appeared in front of him. Chu Feng was holding a huge golden-colored blade in both of his hands. As his arms waved in the air, the golden blade instantly became several glares of golden light. The half-moon golden light kept on appearing in front of his eyes, and when the golden light disappeared, the scary vines were cut into half. The most astonishing thing was that the head of the profound medicine was also chopped off by Chu Feng at an unknown time. Aoo. The profound medicine which was beheaded instantly miserably wailed. Its body was like it was shedding skin as it layers by layers fell. At the end, only a human-shaped plant that was the size of a palm appeared. That plant was a high-quality profound medicine, the human-shaped grass. Ta-ta-ta. Just at that time, frantic stepping sounds resounded out, and the heavily injured huge bear monstrous beast escaped with its tail between its legs. Although it seemed quite heavy, its speed was not slow. Almost with a blink, it disappeared from Chu Feng's and the other person's line of sight. At that instant, the pockmarked male even thought that the huge bear monstrous beast successfully escaped. As he prepared to shake his head and sigh, he saw Chu Feng throw his golden blade out. At first, the pockmarked male did not understand why Chu Feng would do that, but when he heard the painful cry that came from the monstrous beast deep in the forest, he finally knew how strong Chu Feng really was. Chu Feng picked up the human-shaped grass and threw it into his cosmos sack. Normally, he would not even store it and he would have just refined it directly, but since he was in front of someone else, he needed to hold himself back. Brother, you have quite good skill even though we are both at the first level of the profound realm. I, Wu Yuanhua, truly admire you to the point that I would count on myself. Just at that time, the pockmarked male walked over with a face full of deep respect and he couldn't help but cup his hands towards Chu Feng in admiration. Ho! 
Chu Feng already expected the male's actions so he didn't pay much attention to it. He only lightly smiled and prepared to continue on. Brother, I wonder what your great name is. However, the pockmarked male went in front of Chu Feng to stop him and with a solemn face, he asked. I am Azura. Chu Feng randomly said a name. Azura, what a strange name. The pockmarked male seemed to contemplate and felt that the name was very special. Chu Feng ignored the pockmarked male's reactions and went past him to continue forward. However, before even walking for a few steps, the pockmarked male caught up. He spread open his arms and stopped Chu Feng once again. As he faced the pockmarked male's persistency, Chu Feng tightly frowned and said a bit displeasedly, Yes? I just want to invite Brother Azura to go along with me. The pockmarked male chuckled and said. His attitude was very sincere. Sorry, I'm busy. Chu Feng coldly snorted. He did not want that trash as a burden. Ah, Brother Azura, we know a place that contains a large number of high-quality, profound medicine. Seeing that, the pockmarked male quickly explained. Is that true? After hearing that there was a large number of high-quality, profound medicines, Chu Feng couldn't help but be interested. Not half a word of lie. But Brother Azura, before going, I must let you know that the resources in the Valley of Hundred Bends exist together with danger. The place that has a large number of profound medicine also has a group of tyrannical monstrous beasts as guards. The disciples from the Lingyun school has already attacked many times, but they left in defeat and they had heavy losses. However, I heard that the number one disciple in the Lingyun school, Du Guoyun, has already headed towards that place. All the powerful people in the Lingyun school all gathered at that place, and the Lingyun school also requested for help towards the other powers. They invited disciples from various other schools to work together to attack that monstrous beast castle. And I want to invite you, Brother Azura, to go together and share the prophets. What do you think about it? The pockmarked male seriously said and within his gaze there was even a bit of pleading. After hearing those words, Chu Feng's heart was already moved. If the disciples of the Lingyun school could not get any results after attacking it many times, it meant that the place was dangerous. But that also meant that there were huger resources. So, Chu Feng did not hesitate and he firmly said, lead the way. 630485 Beft B9 8C 9622 D6C 69 Chapter 227 Dangerous Land Senior, please help me out, indeed. After the pockmarked male discovered Chu Feng, he quickly asked for assistance. In order to increase his efficiency, Chu Feng kept on borrowing Eggie's power after entering the Valley of Hundred Bends. However, to avoid any unnecessary troubles, he still disguised himself. He wore a cloth long robe and wore a conical hat that was made out of grass to conceal his own appearance. A disguise like that was not rare in the Valley of Hundred Bends. But because the pockmarked male could not see Chu Feng's appearance nor could he determine Chu Feng's age, yet he wanted Chu Feng to help him, he called Chu Feng a senior. What about the high-quality profound medicine after I help you? Chu Feng changed his voice into a young adult's and directly spoke his goal. As long as you help me solve the danger in front of right now, the high-quality profound medicine and the monstrous beast are yours. The pockmarked male held. Great. Only after that did Chu Feng leap into the air, and like a sharp sword, he stabbed himself into the battle circle of the three. Ignorant humans, all of you will die. At the same time that Chu Feng landed on the ground, the huge bear monstrous beast pounced towards Chu Feng. Indeed, the monstrous beast had spiritual nature and he could speak the human language. However, its voice was still full of a wild beast's aura. It was also as if he had boundless strength. When his claw came down, it brought the power of 300,000 caddies along with it. Humph. However, Chu Feng only coldly snorted at the monstrous beast's sudden attack. Not only did he not dodge or avoid it, he even formed a fist with one hand and threw it towards the huge claw of the monstrous beast. This, that scene completely terrified the pockmarked male. 
After all, Chu Feng's aura showed that he was only at the first level of the profound realm, being the same as him. In terms of body figure, he was even skinnier than himself. So, Chu Feng's current actions was like a mantis trying to block a chariot, and he was only searching for his own road of death. However, in the next instant, he was stupefied. Boom. When Chu Feng's fist and the huge paw of the monstrous beast collided, instantly, a huge boom sounded out. Although Chu Feng's fist wasn't big, the energy it contained was huge. A ripple of energy exploded out and the monstrous beast instantly wailed out, then quickly retreated. Its rough skin and thick flesh, which were like iron, were split open everywhere with blood flowing out and it revealed the eerie white bones. Heavens, this, is this still the fist of a human? At that very instant, the pockmarked male was already dumbstruck and he stared blankly at Chu Feng's fist with disbelief all over his face. He did exchange some blows with the huge bear monstrous beast before so he deeply knew the strength of the huge bear monstrous beast's physical body. However, with his own body, Chu Feng destroyed the paw of the monstrous beast so he found it quite hard to accept that. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. As the pockmarked male was distracted, the high-quality profound medicine already leaped into the air. The vines all over it became sharp blade that filled the sky. With lightning-fast speed, they shot towards the pockmarked male. Crap. When the pockmarked male reacted to that, it was too late. The vines that filled the sky would stab into his body in the next instant. He could not avoid even if he wanted to, and he couldn't escape from it even he wanted to. He lost his chance. Swoosh. But just as the pockmarked male felt that he was going to undoubtedly die, like a ghost, Chu Feng appeared in front of him. Chu Feng was holding a huge golden-colored blade in both of his hands. As his arms waved in the air, the golden blade instantly became several glares of golden light. The half-moon golden light kept on appearing in front of his eyes, and when the golden light disappeared, the scary vines were cut into half. The most astonishing thing was that the head of the profound medicine was also chopped off by Chu Feng at an unknown time. Aoo. The profound medicine which was beheaded instantly miserably wailed. Its body was like it was shedding skin as it layers by layers fell. At the end, only a human-shaped plant that was the size of a palm appeared. That plant was a high-quality profound medicine, the human-shaped grass. Ta ta ta. Just at that time, frantic stepping sounds resounded out, and the heavily injured huge bear monstrous beast escaped with its tail between its legs. Although it seemed quite heavy, its speed was not slow. Almost with a blink, it disappeared from Chu Feng's and the other person's line of sight. At that instant, the pockmarked male even thought that the huge bear monstrous beast successfully escaped. As he prepared to shake his head and sigh, he saw Chu Feng throw his golden blade out. At first, the pockmarked male did not understand why Chu Feng would do that, but when he heard the painful cry that came from the monstrous beast deep in the forest, he finally knew how strong Chu Feng really was. Chu Feng picked up the human-shaped grass and threw it into his cosmos sack. Normally, he would not even store it and he would have just refined it directly, but since he was in front of someone else, he needed to hold himself back. Brother, you have quite good skill even though we are both at the first level of the profound realm. I, Wu Yuanhua, truly admire you to the point that I would count on myself. Just at that time, the pockmarked male walked over with a face full of deep respect and he couldn't help but cup his hands towards Chu Feng in admiration. Ho! Chu Feng already expected the male's actions so he didn't pay much attention to it. He only lightly smiled and prepared to continue on. Brother, I wonder what your great name is. However, the pockmarked male went in front of Chu Feng to stop him and with a solemn face, he asked. I am Azura. Chu Feng randomly said a name. Azura, what a strange name. The pockmarked male seemed to contemplate and felt that the name was very special. Chu Feng ignored the pockmarked male's reactions and went past him to continue forward. However, before even walking for a few steps, the pockmarked male caught up. He spread open his arms and stopped Chu Feng once again. 
As he faced the pockmarked male's persistency, Chu Feng tightly frowned and said a bit displeasedly, Yes? I just want to invite Brother Azura to go along with me. The pockmarked male chuckled and said. His attitude was very sincere. Sorry, I'm busy. Chu Feng coldly snorted. He did not want that trash as a burden. Ah, Brother Azura, we know a place that contains a large number of high-quality, profound medicine. Seeing that, the pockmarked male quickly explained. Is that true? After hearing that there was a large number of high-quality, profound medicines, Chu Feng couldn't help but be interested. Not half a word of lie. But Brother Azura, before going, I must let you know that the resources in the Valley of Hundred Bends exist together with danger. The place that has a large number of profound medicine also has a group of tyrannical monstrous beasts as guards. The disciples from the Lingyun school has already attacked many times, but they left in defeat and they had heavy losses. However, I heard that the number one disciple in the Lingyun school, Du Guoyun, has already headed towards that place. All the powerful people in the Lingyun school all gathered at that place, and the Lingyun school also requested for help towards the other powers. They invited disciples from various other schools to work together to attack that monstrous beast castle. And I want to invite you, Brother Azura, to go together and share the prophets. What you think about it? The pockmarked male seriously said and within his gaze there was even a bit of pleading. After hearing those words, Chu Feng's heart was already moved. If the disciples of the Lingyun school could not get any results after attacking it many times, it meant that the place was dangerous. But that also meant that there were huger resources. So, Chu Feng did not hesitate and he firmly said, Lead the way. Marshal God Azura Chapter 228 Duguayun The Valley of Hundred Bends was a magical land. Mountains, creeks, rivers, valleys, plains, everything that should be there was there. The beautiful scenery was like a saint's realm. That area could simply be said to be a separate world. There were spiritual medicines, origin medicines, profound medicines, wild beasts, fierce beasts, and monstrous beasts. Being at the top of the food chain, monstrous beasts were the kings in that area. They ruled that place, and even monstrous beasts needed to cultivation. So, they also needed origin medicines and profound medicines. In order for origin medicines and profound medicines to display the effects that they should have, after the monstrous beasts found the medicines, they would not immediately hunt them. They would force it to a special place, seal them, and wait for them to grow before using them. However, every year, there would be a period of time where humans intruded that land. The intrusion of the humans destroyed everything there. They broke the rules there, so to monstrous beasts, humans were the invaders and they were the guardians. At that moment, in a certain location in the Valley of Hundred Bends, there was a fortress just like that. Profound medicine filled the fortress and those outside could feel the strong profound power as well as the fragrance of the medicines. It was undoubtedly a huge treasure trove. However, the treasures were not able to be taken so easily because several hundred monstrous beasts were densely gathered outside. Every single one of them was in the profound realm and their cultivations were high. There were some at the first level of the profound realm as well as some at the sixth level of the profound realm. One human-shaped monstrous beast, which was three meters tall even had the cultivation of the seventh level of the profound realm. The muscles all over its body were like armor. It had a big sharp hammer in his hand and it was currently sitting on a chair made out of human bones as it yawned. Around that monstrous beast were monstrous beasts who were still in their monstrous beast shape and they were quite lively, as if celebrating, as they defeated the humans again and again. Damn it. I really want to immediately go slaughter that group of beasts. Wait. Senior Dugu and Senior Finghao will quickly come. After they come, we can exterminate these monstrous beasts that ought to die all at once. We will avenge the seniors and juniors who died. Several thousand meters away from the fortress, within a lush forest, several hundred disciples were gathered there. Most of them were disciples from the Lingyun school, 
but there were also many disciples from other schools and they were preparing for the final attack on the fortress. Look, Senior Finghao has arrived. Suddenly, a group of people appeared. They were from the Lingyan school, and the one who led was a white-faced, prideful male. After that male appeared, instantly, a huge disturbance was aroused. Not to mention the disciples from the Lingyan school, even the disciples from other schools concentrated their gazes on that male's body. Some female disciples even revealed expressions of adoration. That male was called Finghao, and he was the number two disciple in the Lingyan school. Although he was only second, his talent and cultivation was far from being comparable by disciples from other schools. He was an expert in the sixth level of the profound realm, and it could be said that he was one of the best within the young generation in the Azure province. Young lady, I wonder if we can join you guys to work together to defeat those group of monstrous beasts? At that instant, Chu Feng and the pockmarked male already arrived. However, it wasn't simple to be able to join the group of people who were going to fight against the monstrous beasts. In fact, currently, the strength of Chu Feng and the pockmarked male was being assessed by the female disciple from the Lingyun school. She was seeing if they had the qualifications to share the profound medicine in the fortress. But it was useless as after Feng Hao appeared, the gaze of that female disciple from the Lingyun school was attracted towards Feng Hao, and she did not pay attention to Chu Feng and the pockmarked male anymore. However, that could not be blamed on that female disciple, because when compared to Feng Hao's girl-like face, the pockmarked male's face was too ugly. No females would be willing to look at him. Look over there, Senior Dugu has come. Dugu Aoyun? The number one disciple from the Lingyun school, Dugu Aoyun? Just at that time, another person yelled in surprise, and the words Dugu Aoyun caused everyone's gaze on scene to be shifted from Feng Hao to the other side. On that side, another group of disciples from the Lingyun school appeared. The quality of those disciples were much stronger than Feng Hao's group. Especially the one who led. With a pair of dense eyebrows, which were like sharp swords, and a resolute face like a blade, that male was a lot more handsome and martial-like. When compared to Feng Hao's female-like prettiness, that male was filled with manly charm. He was the number one disciple in the Lingyun school, Du Guoyun and he was an expert at the eighth level of the profound realm. Not only was he the number one disciple in the Lingyun school, he was even named as the number one person in the Azure province's young generation. Closely following Dugu Aoyun was his young brother, Dugu Xiangyu. Dugu Xiangyu's cultivation was not weak as well as he had the cultivation of the fifth level of the profound realm. He had quite the handsome appearance as well, but as his elder brother was under a halo, Obviously, he was not that eye-grabbing. Wah, the number one disciple from my Lingyun school is too charming. That's a real man. The female disciple from the Lingyun school who had incomparable adoration towards Feng Hao earlier only had Du Guoyun's figure within her eyes. Oi, lady. I want to join you guys to fight together against the monstrous beasts. Look at us. Can we? Just at that time, the pockmarked male untactfully patted the female disciple's shoulder. Shoo! Don't pass. Both of you don't pass. Leave right now. The pockmarked male, who disturbed the female's heart of appreciation, got a burst of angry cursing from her. Junior, what's wrong? Her yell naturally attracted the attention of the Lingyun school disciples. In an instant, the large group of Lingyun school disciples aggressively surrounded and concentrated their fierce gazes onto the bodies of the pockmarked male as well as Chu Feng. I, we, as he faced that scene, the pockmarked male was terrified. He could not even speak because he did not even know how to explain. They wanted to join us to fight against the monstrous beasts, but because their strength was too low, I wanted them to leave. However, they kept on nagging me. The female disciple said with grievance. What? Something like that happened? After hearing those words, the normally domineering Lingyun school disciples were instantly enraged and their gazes could eat Chu Feng and the pockmarked male. Whatever, fighting against the monstrous beasts is more important right now. Let them go. One disciple went out to advise. 
Humph. You two are lucky. Shu. Seeing that, the disciple from the Lingyun school started drive them away. As he faced that situation, both of Chu Feng's fists tightly clenched and the flames of fury burned in his heart, but he endured because he felt a pair of sharp eyes staring at him, and the owner of those eyes was extremely strong. So, Chu Feng could only gloomily leave along with the pockmarked male as they were mocked by the crowd. Brother, what are you looking at? Dugu Xiangyu curiously asked. Nothing. Dugu Aoyun faintly smiled and retracted the gaze that was aimed towards Chu Fong. 630485BFB98C962D6C69 Chapter 228 Dugu Aoyun The Valley of Hundred Bends was a magical land. Mountains, creeks, rivers, valleys, plains, everything that should be there was there. The beautiful scenery was like a saint's realm. That area could simply be said to be a separate world. There were spiritual medicines, origin medicines, profound medicines, wild beasts, fierce beasts, and monstrous beasts. Being at the top of the food chain, monstrous beasts were the kings in that area. They ruled that place, and even monstrous beasts needed to cultivation. So, they also needed origin medicines and profound medicines. In order for origin medicines and profound medicines to display the effects that they should have, after the monstrous beasts found the medicines, they would not immediately hunt them. They would force it to a special place, seal them, and wait for them to grow before using them. However, every year, there would be a period of time where humans intruded that land. The intrusion of the humans destroyed everything there. They broke the rules there, so to monstrous beasts, humans were the invaders, and they were the guardians. At that moment, in a certain location in the Valley of Hundred Bends, there was a fortress, just like that. Profound medicine filled the fortress, and those outside could feel the strong profound power as well as the fragrance of the medicines. It was undoubtedly a huge treasure trove. However, the treasures were not able to be taken so easily because several hundred monstrous beasts were densely gathered outside. Every single one of them was in the profound realm and their cultivations were high. There were some at the first level of the profound realm as well as some at the sixth level of the profound realm. One human-shaped monstrous beast, which was three meters tall even had the cultivation of the seventh level of the profound realm. The muscles all over its body were like armor. It had a big sharp hammer in his hand and it was currently sitting on a chair made out of human bones as it yawned. Around that monstrous beast were monstrous beasts who were still in their monstrous beast shape and they were quite lively, as if celebrating, as they defeated the humans again and again. Damn it. I really want to immediately go slaughter that group of beasts. Wait. Senior Dugu and Senior Finghao will quickly come. After they come, we can exterminate these monstrous beasts that ought to die all at once. We will avenge the seniors and juniors who died. Several thousand meters away from the fortress, within a lush forest, several hundred disciples were gathered there. Most of them were disciples from the Lingyun school, but there were also many disciples from other schools and they were preparing for the final attack on the fortress. Look, Senior Finghao has arrived. Suddenly, a group of people appeared. They were from the Lingyun school and the one who led was a white-faced, prideful male. After that male appeared, instantly, a huge disturbance was aroused. Not to mention the disciples from the Lingyun school, even the disciples from other schools concentrated their gazes on that male's body. Some female disciples even revealed expressions of adoration. That male was called Finghao, and he was the number two disciple in the Lingyun school. Although he was only second, his talent and cultivation was far from being comparable by disciples from other schools. He was an expert in the sixth level of the profound realm, and it could be said that he was one of the best within the young generation in the Azure province. Young lady, I wonder if we can join you guys to work together to defeat those group of monstrous beasts? At that instant, Chu Feng and the pockmarked male already arrived. However, it wasn't simple to be able to join the group of people who were going to fight against the monstrous beasts. 
In fact, currently, the strength of Chu Feng and the pockmarked male was being assessed by the female disciple from the Lingyun school. She was seeing if they had the qualifications to share the profound medicine in the fortress. But it was useless as after Feng Hao appeared, the gaze of that female disciple from the Lingyun school was attracted towards Feng Hao and she did not pay attention to Chu Feng and the pockmarked male anymore. However, that could not be blamed on that female disciple, because when compared to Feng Hao's girl-like face, the pockmarked male's face was too ugly. No females would be willing to look at him. Look over there, Senior Dugu has come. Dugu Aoyun? The number one disciple from the Lingyun school, Dugu Aoyun? Just at that time, another person yelled in surprise, and the words Dugu Aoyun caused everyone's gaze on scene to be shifted from Feng Hao to the other side. On that side, another group of disciples from the Lingyun school appeared. The quality of those disciples were much stronger than Feng Hao's group. Especially the one who led. With a pair of dense eyebrows, which were like sharp swords, and a resolute face like a blade, that male was a lot more handsome and martial-like. When compared to Feng Hao's female-like prettiness, that male was filled with manly charm. He was the number one disciple in the Lingyun school, Du Guoyun and he was an expert at the eighth level of the profound realm. Not only was he the number one disciple in the Lingyun school, he was even named as the number one person in the Azure province's young generation. Closely following Dugu Aoyun was his young brother, Dugu Xiangyu. Dugu Xiangyu's cultivation was not weak as well as he had the cultivation of the fifth level of the profound realm. He had quite the handsome appearance as well, but as his elder brother was under a halo, Obviously, he was not that eye-grabbing. Wah, the number one disciple from my Lingyun school is too charming. That's a real man. The female disciple from the Lingyun school who had incomparable adoration towards Feng Hao earlier only had Du Guoyun's figure within her eyes. Oi, lady. I want to join you guys to fight together against the monstrous beasts. Look at us. Can we? Just at that time, the pockmarked male untactfully patted the female disciple's shoulder. Shoo. Don't pass. Both of you don't pass. Leave right now. The pockmarked male, who disturbed the female's heart of appreciation, got a burst of angry cursing from her. Junior, what's wrong? Her yell naturally attracted the attention of the Lingyun school disciples. In an instant, the large group of Lingyun school disciples aggressively surrounded and concentrated their fierce gazes onto the bodies of the pockmarked male as well as Chu Feng. I, we, as he faced that scene, the pockmarked male was terrified. He could not even speak because he did not even know how to explain. They wanted to join us to fight against the monstrous beasts, but because their strength was too low, I wanted them to leave. However, they kept on nagging me. The female disciple said with grievance. What? Something like that happened? After hearing those words, the normally domineering Lingyun school disciples were instantly enraged and their gazes could eat Chu Feng and the pockmarked male. Whatever, fighting against the monstrous beasts is more important right now. Let them go. One disciple went out to advise. Humph. You two are lucky. Shu. Seeing that, the disciple from the Lingyun school started drive them away. As he faced that situation, both of Chu Feng's fists tightly clenched and the flames of fury burned in his heart, but he endured because he felt a pair of sharp eyes staring at him, and the owner of those eyes was extremely strong. So, Chu Feng could only gloomily leave along with the pockmarked male as they were mocked by the crowd. Brother, what are you looking at? Dugu Xiangyu curiously asked. Nothing. Dugu Aoyun faintly smiled and retracted the gaze that was aimed towards Chu Feng. Martial God Azura. Chapter 229 Plundering everything is short while well after Dugu Aoyun appeared, he organized the disciples and started to attack the monstrous beast's fortress. This time, the monstrous beasts who were quite lively before clearly felt the pressure. As they faced the human army led by Dugu Aoyun, they already lost their absolute superiority. Even the monstrous beast commander who held the huge hammer was held down by Dugu Aoyun. 
Although monstrous beasts had a natural advantage from their physical bodies and they were usually stronger than humans in the same realm in terms of battle power, when they faced a peak genius like Duguayun, their advantage already disappeared. In front of absolute aptitude, the advantage was taken away by the humans. The monstrous beast commander, who became half-human, tightly frowned and endlessly roared. He was being continuously forced back by the number one disciple in the Lingyun school, Duguayun, and he completely lost his precious grandeur of a king. Ah, damn it. That damn woman, within a distant forest, the pockmarked male, sat on a big tree as he looked at the direction of the fortress while smoke kept on rolling up and he unceasingly muttered. Brother Azura, with your strength, if you could have entered, you would have certainly gotten your share. After sighing, he cast his gaze next to him, but he discovered that it was completely empty and Chu Feng's traces were gone. Brother Azura, Brother Azura? That made the pockmarked male panic. Clearly, the person who was just there randomly disappeared. As he panicked, he started to look everywhere for Chu Feng's traces. However, no matter what, he never would have thought that the current Chu Feng already rose into the air. With the Imperial Sky Technique, Chu Feng looked down from above and the fortress was clearly observed by him. Although the defense around the fortress was very good, in order for the profound medicines be bathed in sunlight for better growth, it was not completely sealed. Using the smoke that rose from the great battle, Chu Feng could conceal himself as he descended from above. As the battle outside was a mess, he stepped into the fortress first and he wanted to grab all the profound medicines that were there. Wow! This time I will earn big. After entering the fortress, Chu Feng's excited heart was almost going to jump out. Within the dense grasses, there were dense lights flickering non-stop. Low-quality profound medicine, medium-quality profound medicine, high-quality profound medicine. In total, there were several thousand. There were even around a hundred of the priceless high-quality profound medicine. That amount was too shocking. No wonder the monstrous beasts outside would guard this place to their deaths. It was truly a treasure trove. It must have been the result of many years of accumulation. GGG The instant that Chu Feng stepped onto that place, the several thousand profound medicines suddenly changed. From little grasses that were buried in the flowers and grasses, they turned into terrifying monsters. They bared their teeth, and with open mouths and extended claws, they started their attack on Chu Feng. Ha, huh, my lovely profound medicines. All of you are truly giving me a hug. Chu Feng chuckled, extended his hand, and grabbed. Profound power formed into a huge palm and it slammed down. Even the ground trembled once and that palm pressed several profound medicines to death. He waved his arm and his profound power swept across. With that, dozens of profound medicine were swept to death by Chu Feng and turned back into cute little grasses that didn't have spiritual nature. But even as he killed them so devastatingly, Chu Feng still felt that it was too slow. So, he just used his spirit formation power to surround the large area that contained the grasses then sealed the spirit formation and crushed them alive. Only when they returned to their original forms did he stop the shrinking. GGG As Chu Feng swept across with his power, the preciously fierce, profound medicines started to escape everywhere and they powerfully hit the fortress's walls. That was quite amusing because the profound medicines were asking for help. However, it was already a mess outside so how could anyone notice what was happening inside the fortress? Thus, the profound medicines were helpless. They could only allow Chu Feng to finish them off with a sweep and be killed bit by bit by him. At the end, they became profound medicines without spiritual nature and they were all picked up by Chu Feng. Haha, <laughs> refreshing. This is indeed refreshing. As Chu Feng madly laughed, he walked towards the remaining hundred or so profound medicines hiding in the corner. The profound medicines that usually had an abnormally fierce appearance were like frightened sheeps and they were trembling. Their gazes flickered and obviously, they felt boundless fear. Boom, suddenly, an explosion resounded out. Rock fragments filled their air and the fortress was opened by someone. 
crap. Chu Feng suddenly turned his head and he discovered that a group of people rushed in. It was the disciples from the Lingyun school, and the leader was number two of the Lingyun school, Feng Hao, the powerful person at the sixth level of the profound realm. Who are you? As Feng Hao intruded into that place with a full heart of happiness, he discovered that the treasure trove was completely empty. After seeing the nearby standing person and a group of trembling profound medicines, his face instantly changed greatly. Feng Hao immediately reacted and he knew what happened inside. That damn person went in first and completely plundered everything in the huge treasure trove. Hm, Chu Feng did not care about Feng Hao. He only waved his big sleeve and condensed a spirit formation out. He wanted to take the last few profound medicines in the corner for himself as well. You're looking to die. Seeing that, not only did Chu Feng not stop and he was even continuing to plunder, it enraged Feng Hao. He leaped and arrived in front of Chu Feng, then a fist was thrown towards Chu Feng's back. That fist was not a small thing. Although he did not use profound power, a rank 6 martial skill was condensed within his fist. Its power was extremely frightening, and Feng Hao wanted to use that punch to determine victory or death instantly, and also to kill Chu Feng. At the same time, the crowd behind Feng Hao attacked simultaneously as well. Every single person used extremely strong martial skills, and they did not restrain themselves. Shu. In critical times like that, Chu Feng did not restrain himself as well. He flicked his fingers towards them and five white-colored gases explosively shot out. Roar and angry roar shook the skies and the ground. Who could even hold the white tiger back once it came out? In front of the white tiger slaughtering technique, even Feng Hao's face changed greatly. He originally wanted to escape, but he lost the chance. With a bang, the condensed huge paw by the white tiger already slammed down. At the same time, not a single disciple behind him survived. Boom. When the paw came down, instantly, a huge hole appeared. After the dust dispersed, other than Feng Hao, the other people who were there become pools of blood. Even Feng Hao was half disabled. The most important thing was that white-colored gas already pierced through his chest and he was heavily injured. At that instant, blood was everywhere on his body. His aura was extremely weak and he was on the border of life and death. Wush after defeating Feng Hao and the others, with one strike, he waved his sleeve once again. The profound medicines that were already bound down were called over and stuffed into his cosmos sack. He stepped up and he prepared to return where he came from to slip away after being extremely lucky. Boom. But just at that time, boundless pressure descended from the skies and sealed Chu Feng's path. He raised his head to look, and even Chu Feng couldn't help but change his expression greatly. A huge hand in the sky came down, and with devastating power, it slammed towards him. 630485BFB98C9622D6C69 Chapter 229 Plundering Everything A short while after Dugu Aoyun appeared, he organized the disciples and started to attack the monstrous beast's fortress. This time, the monstrous beasts who were quite lively before clearly felt the pressure. As they faced the human army led by Dugu Aoyun, they already lost their absolute superiority. Even the monstrous beast commander who held the huge hammer was held down by Dugu Aoyun. Although monstrous beasts had a natural advantage from their physical bodies and they were usually stronger than humans in the same realm in terms of battle power, when they faced a peak genius like Dugu Aoyun, their advantage already disappeared. In front of absolute aptitude, the advantage was taken away by the humans. The monstrous beast commander, who became half-human, tightly frowned and endlessly roared. He was being continuously forced back by the number one disciple in the Lingyun school. Dugu Aoyun, and he completely lost his precious grandeur of a king. Ah, damn it. That damn woman, within a distant forest, the pockmarked male, sat on a big tree as he looked at the direction of the fortress while smoke kept on rolling up and he unceasingly muttered. Brother Azura, with your strength, if you could have entered, you would have certainly gotten your share. After sighing, he cast his gaze next to him, 
but he discovered that it was completely empty and Chu Feng's traces were gone. Brother Azura, Brother Azura? That made the pockmarked male panic. Clearly, the person who was just there randomly disappeared. As he panicked, he started to look everywhere for Chu Feng's traces. However, no matter what, he never would have thought that the current Chu Feng already rose into the air. With the imperial sky technique, Chu Feng looked down from above and the fortress was clearly observed by him. Although the defense around the fortress was very good, in order for the profound medicines be bathed in sunlight for better growth, it was not completely sealed. Using the smoke that rose from the great battle, Chu Feng could conceal himself as he descended from above. As the battle outside was a mess, he stepped into the fortress first and he wanted to grab all the profound medicines that were there. Wow! This time I will earn big. After entering the fortress, Chu Feng's excited heart was almost going to jump out. Within the dense grasses, there were dense lights flickering non-stop. Low quality profound medicine, medium quality profound medicine, high quality profound medicine. In total, there were several thousand. There were even around a hundred of the priceless high quality profound medicine. That amount was too shocking. No wonder the monstrous beasts outside would guard this place to their deaths. It was truly a treasure trove. It must have been the result of many years of accumulation. GGG. The instant that Chu Feng stepped onto that place, the several thousand profound medicines suddenly changed. From little grasses that were buried in the flowers and grasses, they turned into terrifying monsters. They bared their teeth, and with open mouths and extended claws, they started their attack on Chu Feng. Ha, huh, my lovely profound medicines. All of you are truly giving me a hug. Chu Feng chuckled, extended his hand, and grabbed. Profound power formed into a huge palm and it slammed down. Even the ground trembled once, and that palm pressed several profound medicines to death. He waved his arm and his profound power swept across. With that, dozens of profound medicine were swept to death by Chu Feng and turned back into cute little grasses that didn't have spiritual nature. But even as he killed them so devastatingly, Chu Feng still felt that it was too slow. So, he just used his spirit formation power to surround the large area that contained the grasses, then sealed the spirit formation and crushed them alive. Only when they returned to their original forms did he stop the shrinking. GGG. As Chu Feng swept across with his power, the preciously fierce, profound medicines started to escape everywhere and they powerfully hit the fortress's walls. That was quite amusing because the profound medicines were asking for help. However, it was already a mess outside, so how could anyone notice what was happening inside the fortress? Thus, the profound medicines were helpless. They could only allow Chu Feng to finish them off with a sweep and be killed bit by bit by him. At the end, they became profound medicines without spiritual nature and they were all picked up by Chu Feng. Haha, <laughs> refreshing. This is indeed refreshing. As Chu Feng madly laughed, he walked towards the remaining hundred or so profound medicines hiding in the corner. The profound medicines that usually had an abnormally fierce appearance were like frightened sheeps and they were trembling. Their gazes flickered and obviously, they felt boundless fear. Boom, suddenly, an explosion resounded out. Rock fragments filled their air and the fortress was opened by someone. Crap. Chu Feng suddenly turned his head and he discovered that a group of people rushed in. It was the disciples from the Lingyun school, and the leader was number two of the Lingyun school, Feng Hao, the powerful person at the sixth level of the profound realm. Who are you? As Feng Hao intruded into that place with a full heart of happiness, he discovered that the treasure trove was completely empty. After seeing the nearby standing person and a group of trembling profound medicines, his face instantly changed greatly. Feng Hao immediately reacted and he knew what happened inside. That damn person went in first and completely plundered everything in the huge treasure trove. Humph, Chu Feng did not care about Feng Hao. He only waved his big sleeve and condensed a spirit formation out. He wanted to take the last few profound medicines in the corner for himself as well. 
you're looking to die. Seeing that, not only did Chu Feng not stop and he was even continuing to plunder, it enraged Feng Hao. He leaped and arrived in front of Chu Feng, then a fist was thrown towards Chu Feng's back. That fist was not a small thing. Although he did not use profound power, a rank 6 martial skill was condensed within his fist. Its power was extremely frightening, and Feng Hao wanted to use that punch to determine victory or death instantly, and also to kill Chu Feng. At the same time, the crowd behind Feng Hao attacked simultaneously as well. Every single person used extremely strong martial skills, and they did not restrain themselves. Shu. In critical times like that, Chu Feng did not restrain himself as well. He flicked his fingers towards them and five white-colored gases explosively shot out. Roar and angry roar shook the skies and the ground. Who could even hold the white tiger back once it came out? In front of the white tiger slaughtering technique, even Feng Hao's face changed greatly. He originally wanted to escape, but he lost the chance. With a bang, the condensed huge paw by the white tiger already slammed down. At the same time, not a single disciple behind him survived. Boom. When the paw came down, instantly, a huge hole appeared. After the dust dispersed, other than Feng Hao, the other people who were there become pools of blood. Even Feng Hao was half disabled. The most important thing was that white-colored gas already pierced through his chest and he was heavily injured. At that instant, blood was everywhere on his body. His aura was extremely weak and he was on the border of life and death. Whoosh after defeating Feng Hao and the others, with one strike, he waved his sleeve once again. The profound medicines that were already bound down were called over and stuffed into his cosmos sack. He stepped up and he prepared to return where he came from to slip away after being extremely lucky. Boom. But just at that time, boundless pressure descended from the skies and sealed Chu Feng's path. He raised his head to look, and even Chu Feng couldn't help but change his expression greatly. A huge hand in the sky came down, and with devastating power, it slammed towards him. Martial God Azura Chapter 230 I am called Azura, that palm was extremely big and it could be said to cover the skies and the sun. It was condensed by golden-colored radiance, yet it showed real palm patterns. It was not extended by an arm, and only a palm appeared in the sky. But it had to be said that the power the golden-colored huge palm contained was indeed extremely frightening. As for how strong, it was even more terrifying that Lin Rant's cold ice atmosphere. Look, it's Senior Dugu's unique skill. Rank 6 Martial Skill, Heaven Descending Divine Palm. At that instant, someone yelled in surprise, and it allowed Chu Feng to know the origin of the palm, as well as the user. He also finally knew why the golden-colored palm came towards him with such huge pressure. But under situations like that, Chu Feng never thought too much about it. With a thought, he linked with the white tiger. Following that, he opened his five fingers and explosively palmed towards the sky. Roar. When the palm was thrown out, instantly, the white-colored gas surged out from his palm. After that, the white-colored gas became a white-colored tiger's paw in the air. It was a real tiger's paw. Although it was only condensed by white-colored gas, one could still see the faint black-colored stripes. It was vivid and lifelike, and there was even fur. The most important thing was that the state of the tiger's paw was completely different than what Chu Feng displayed earlier. Before, the tiger's paw was only in an illusionary state, but this tiger's paw was more near an actual substance. As for why such change happened, that was because Chu Feng just recently gained new power. He improved once again in terms of appearance for the white tiger slaughtering technique. When the white tiger came out, who could even fight against it? The might of the white tiger slaughtering technique completely surpassed the heaven-descending divine palm and when the two intersected, it made everyone know what was a true peerless and invincible attack in the world. Rumble rumble rumble. As the two collided, even the sky trembled and black-colored cracks extended in the air as though the sky was going to fall. However, after the huge boom, the white-colored tiger's paw rushed into the air and straight through the clouds. 
even a hole of a tiger's paw was formed in the clouds in the sky, and only the heavens would know how far the paw went for. Looking back at the golden-colored huge palm, it already became golden-colored ripples. It spread in the air, and in front of the white tiger slaughtering technique, the so-called heaven descending divine palm could not even take a single strike. What martial skill is that? It has such power. As they looked at the clouds and saw the tiger's paw mark left there, everyone who witnessed that scene were dumbfounded and their eyes were full of shock. Even Duguayun tightly frowned and his gaze glittered with seriousness. As he looked at Chu Feng, who wore a conical hat, he did not dare to have a single strand of carelessness anymore. He solemnly asked, Brother, I wonder what your great name is. Azura. Chu Feng's voice was extremely loud and clear. After dissolving the scary attack, Chu Feng could finally observe the situation at that moment. Only then did he discover that the monstrous beasts were all finished off. All of the disciples surged into the fortress, and the one who led them was exactly Dugu Aoyun. The current him was already surrounded, but it wasn't that he had no more escaping roads to walk on. Since he was already discovered, Chu Feng did not hurry to escape. He took his time to leave his great name. Of course, it wasn't his true name. Azura? What a good Azura. We painfully and bitterly fought outside, yet you snuck in here and plundered all the profound medicines. Not only that, you even killed people from my Lingyun school. Your actions are a bit too dishonest, are they not? If you're still a man, reveal your true appearance. Let us see what kind of person would do such improper things. Dugu Aoyun loudly interrogated. Obviously, he guessed that Azura wasn't Chu Feng's real name. Senior Dugu is right. We fought for our lives outside, yet you stole away everything here. Hand the profound medicines out and we'll leave you with a complete corpse. At that instant, the other disciples also put out demands towards Chu Feng. After all, they just had a great battle against monstrous beasts and some were injured while some died. However, if all of that was for nothing, no matter who it was, they would not be willing to accept that. Truly a joke. The profound medicines here belong to those who are able to get it. I never told you to fight for your lives outside, and even without any of you, I can still loot everything here. Leave me with a complete corpse? Within all of you, who can kill me? Chu Feng sneered and revealed his gaze of killing intent towards his surroundings. Even though that it didn't seem important, almost everyone who was on scene, other than Dugu Aoyun, couldn't help but back away one step and they broke out in a cold sweat from fear. From Chu Feng's gaze, they felt icy cold killing intent. Especially after they saw Chu Feng's terrifying palm, no one knew the depth of Chu Feng's abilities. However, they could be sure that Chu Feng was indeed a dangerous person. Du Guoyun, you dare? Do you want to come over and give it a go? Chu Feng threatened. You think I don't dare? Dugu Aoyun coldly said. Haha, if you dare, come up and try. Chu Feng loudly laughed and leaped up into the sky. When he was in midair, he stopped and did not move. He was stepping on air as he hung up in the sky. Heavens! He, 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 he is standing on air. How is that possible? He is a person in the heaven realm? At that instant, as they looked at Chu Feng, who stood on air with both of his hands behind his back, no one could remain calm anymore. Even though Chu Feng's aura only belonged to the first level of the profound realm, only heaven realm experts had the special ability to step on the air and walk. Heaven realm. That was a character that did not even exist in the entire Azure province. Was the person in front of them truly a heaven realm expert? Didn't that mean that they angered a super-huge character that they should not have angered? Where have you come from? Dugu Aoyun loudly questioned, and even he was shocked by Chu Feng's methods. Remember. I am Azura. This name will resonate in the entire nine provinces, and no one will not know this name. After speaking those words, Chu Feng laughed, stepped in the air, and gradually went away. He left the dumbfounded crowds behind who had shocked minds that could not be calmed down for a long time. 
630485 Beft B9 8C9622D6C69. Chapter 230 I Am Called Azura. That palm was extremely big and it could be said to cover the skies and the sun. It was condensed by golden colored radiance, yet it showed real palm patterns. It was not extended by an arm, and only a palm appeared in the sky. But it had to be said that the power the golden colored huge palm contained was indeed extremely frightening. As for how strong, it was even more terrifying that Lin Rant's cold ice atmosphere. Look, it's Senior Dugu's unique skill. Rank 6 Martial Skill, Heaven Descending Divine Palm. At that instant, someone yelled in surprise, and it allowed Chu Feng to know the origin of the palm, as well as the user. He also finally knew why the golden-colored palm came towards him with such huge pressure. But under situations like that, Chu Feng never thought too much about it. With a thought, he linked with the white tiger. Following that, he opened his five fingers and explosively palmed towards the sky. Roar. When the palm was thrown out, instantly, the white-colored gas surged out from his palm. After that, the white-colored gas became a white-colored tiger's paw in the air. It was a real tiger's paw. Although it was only condensed by white-colored gas, one could still see the faint black-colored stripes. It was vivid and lifelike, and there was even fur. The most important thing was that the state of the tiger's paw was completely different than what Chu Feng displayed earlier. Before, the tiger's paw was only in an illusionary state, but this tiger's paw was more near an actual substance. As for why such change happened, that was because Chu Feng just recently gained new power. He improved once again in terms of appearance for the white tiger slaughtering technique. When the white tiger came out, who could even fight against it? The might of the white tiger slaughtering technique completely surpassed the heaven-descending divine palm and when the two intersected, it made everyone know what was a true peerless and invincible attack in the world. Rumble rumble rumble. As the two collided, even the sky trembled and black-colored cracks extended in the air as though the sky was going to fall. However, after the huge boom, the white-colored tiger's paw rushed into the air and straight through the clouds. Even a hole of a tiger's paw was formed in the clouds in the sky, and only the heavens would know how far the paw went for. Looking back at the golden-colored huge palm, it already became golden-colored ripples. It spread in the air, and in front of the white tiger slaughtering technique, the so-called heaven-descending divine palm could not even take a single strike. What martial skill is that? It has such power. As they looked at the clouds and saw the tiger's palm mark left there, everyone who witnessed that scene were dumbfounded and their eyes were full of shock. Even Duguayan tightly frowned and his gaze glittered with seriousness. As he looked at Chu Feng, who wore a conical hat, he did not dare to have a single strand of carelessness anymore. He solemnly asked, Brother, I wonder what your great name is? Azura. Chu Feng's voice was extremely loud and clear. After dissolving the scary attack, Chu Feng could finally observe the situation at that moment. Only then did he discover that the monstrous beasts were all finished off. All of the disciples surged into the fortress, and the one who led them was exactly Dugu Aoyun. The current him was already surrounded, but it wasn't that he had no more escaping roads to walk on. Since he was already discovered, Chu Feng did not hurry to escape. He took his time to leave his great name. Of course, it wasn't his true name. Azura? What a good Azura. We painfully and bitterly fought outside, yet you snuck in here and plundered all the profound medicines. Not only that, you even killed people from my Lingyun school. Your actions are a bit too dishonest, are they not? If you're still a man, reveal your true appearance. Let us see what kind of person would do such improper things. Dugu Aoyun loudly interrogated. Obviously, he guessed that Azura wasn't Chu Feng's real name. Senior Dugu is right. We fought for our lives outside, yet you stole away everything here. Hand the profound medicines out and we'll leave you with a complete corpse. At that instant, the other disciples also put out demands towards Chu Feng. After all, they just had a great battle against monstrous beasts and some were injured while some died. 
However, if all of that was for nothing, no matter who it was, they would not be willing to accept that. Truly a joke. The profound medicines here belong to those who are able to get it. I never told you to fight for your lives outside, and even without any of you, I can still loot everything here. Leave me with a complete corpse? Within all of you, who can kill me? Chu Feng sneered and revealed his gaze of killing intent towards his surroundings. Even though that it didn't seem important, almost everyone who was on scene, other than Du Guayun, couldn't help but back away one step and they broke out in a cold sweat from fear. From Chu Feng's gaze, they felt icy cold killing intent. Especially after they saw Chu Feng's terrifying palm, no one knew the depth of Chu Feng's abilities. However, they could be sure that Chu Feng was indeed a dangerous person. Du Guayun, you dare? Do you want to come over and give it a go? Chu Feng threatened. You think I don't dare? Dugu Aoyun coldly said. Haha, if you dare, come up and try. Chu Feng loudly laughed and leaped up into the sky. When he was in midair, he stopped and did not move. He was stepping on air as he hung up in the sky. Heavens! He, 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 he is standing on air. How is that possible? He is a person in the heaven realm? At that instant, as they looked at Chu Feng, who stood on air with both of his hands behind his back, no one could remain calm anymore. Even though Chu Feng's aura only belonged to the first level of the profound realm, only heaven realm experts had the special ability to step on the air and walk. Heaven realm. That was a character that did not even exist in the entire Azure province. Was the person in front of them truly a heaven realm expert? Didn't that mean that they angered a super huge character that they should not have angered? Where have you come from? Dugu Aoyun loudly questioned, and even he was shocked by Chu Feng's methods. Remember. I am Azura. This name will resonate in the entire nine provinces, and no one will not know this name. After speaking those words, Chu Feng laughed, stepped in the air, and gradually went away. He left the dumbfounded crowds behind who had shocked minds that could not be calmed down for a long time.